devices please only ever listen to this when you can safely close your eyes now before I continue I've got some good news uh, I have a new app that's in the process of being developed going to be for this podcast and so it's going to be the uh, deep sleep whisper hypnosis app which means you'll be able to download it have it on your phone or your tablet and then it will save you having to go on to the podcast or save you having to go on to websites or anything like that if you you know if you choose it will initially only be available for Android so it will be available on Google Play the Google Play Store but I'm hoping maybe next month or when I can afford to to make it available also on the Apple Store so it will be available available on iOS so you can then download it on your iPhone or uh, Apple tablet i i tablet iPad that's it couldn't remember the name of it so there you go so the new app should be available hopefully in the next couple of days and I will make I'll actually post it on the website uh, I'll post it on the deepsleepwhisper.com website I'll post it on my jasonnewland.com website and also put it on the freesleephypnosis.com website so you'll be able to download it on all either of those uh, websites as well as sharing it on Facebook and that right and I will when it is available I will let you know on that podcast of that day that it's available so I'm quite pleased now and 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 it will just be everything will be free on there so it'll just be the podcast it won't be there won't be anything to buy or anything like that no in-app purchases it'll just be all the latest recordings that usually last like about 20 minutes each and they'll all be available right and a plane's going past I purposely wait till the middle of the night or early, very early hours because it's the quietest time for me to make, to make recordings but the planes don't know that obviously and I suppose because it's summer season more and more people are going on holiday now so there'll be more planes going past we're not going past, going over. So I'm going to get on with it. I'd like you make sure, first of all, that you're comfortable. Make sure that you're sitting. surface that supports your body so if you're lying on your bed or if you're sitting in a chair make sure that the chair has uh, you know room for your elbows and that if you do fall asleep that you'll still be sitting in a chair and it supports you I thought what I'm going to do today is going to focus on your hands that's all just your hands so I would recommend 
recommend that uh, or suggest that if you have any physical issues with your hands then maybe move on to a different recording because I'm going to ask you to open and close your hands now if you have a physical problem in just one of your hands then you can if you want to just do it with your left hand or your right hand the one that's fine but the most important thing is that you feel comfortable and relaxed and don't do anything that's gonna uh, cause any problematic issues physically or emotionally so it's important to me that and it should be to you so if you've got any problems with your hands both hands then just you can still listen to this because you can imagine doing it you can imagine opening and closing your hands without actually doing it but it's up to you I'll leave it with you to decide so what we're going to do is first of all I'd like you just to clench both of your hands not tightly but just in a fist but not in a like a proper fist like you're about to punch someone uh, and no straining just in a fist so that you can feel that it's a bit tense you can feel the stretch in your fingers you can feel it in your wrists in fact you'd probably be able to feel it in your whole arm maybe the, the at least the, the part from your elbow downwards maybe including your elbow I, mean, I can I can feel it also in my shoulders but that might be because I'm so so damn muscular I'm like the Incredible Hulk it's amazing <laughs> not really so I'd like you just to let go of your hands but I'm not gonna I don't want you just to to stretch your fingers out or anything like that what I want you to do is to just stop holding your hand in the fist and you can do this with one hand or two hands totally up to you and just stop holding it in the fist so that your fingers start to open up but in their own time It's kind of like a micro movement. And you can feel it a bit twitchy, maybe a little bit like electric y. So I'm doing it right now with you. And when they first started opening, the fingers were stuck together. As they got open a little bit more, the fingers have parted, and they're still opening, but really kind of small twitches. Now I've got my eyes open and I'm looking at my fingers, so. I can see how my little finger is kind of moving on its own. And it's quite interesting to see and notice how it feels. doing this 
small thing. I feel somewhat calmer in my mind. It's it's as if it's released. Um, I don't know if the word would be pleasure because it does feel quite pleasurable, which is a bit strange, really, to just clench a fist and let it open naturally slowly in its own way but focusing on it so maybe you're feeling that too and I don't know how much of that has got to do with me watching the fingers open so this time I'm going to clench my fist again and maybe you could like to do that I'm going to just have my eyes closed while I do it and then I'm just going to let go and just allow the fingers to open on their own so no longer holding the hand in a fist but not stretching your fingers out not doing anything but just focusing on the feeling of your hand your hands, the fingers just opening up in their own way, in their own time. This feels more physically relaxing. I can feel it in my shoulders and my back, my chest, my neck, even my stomach and moving down, my lower back. Feel it. So I hold a, I hold a quite a bit of stress in my lower back, and I can feel that relaxing. Even though I'm still focusing on my fingers, and they're opening kind of on their own, and now they're starting to separate. It feels quite nice, you know very, very relaxing. I think we perhaps should do it one more time for relaxation. Clenching the fists together, maybe counting to five. One, two, three, four, five, and then just let go and allow the hand to open own time as you focus just on the physical sensations of your hand opening and the fingers slowly and gently moving while at the same time you can feel that relaxation spreading all the way through your body from the top of your head all the way down and it's a real a real pleasure sensation relaxing yet pleasurable yet why why would relaxation be anything but pleasurable fingers are starting to really open up and I'm really starting to feel tired now and I suppose part of that is because that's why I'm here that's why we're listening to this in order to get in touch with that natural sense of sleepiness that we all have inside us that's available to tap into that natural ability to let go relax and sleep easily and naturally I can just feel 
Start. 